everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make two types of wands. So I needed to make favors for a party and there were going to be a bunch of little girls there and I was trying to think of something that they could play with throughout the party and take home and play with as well. I didn't want to just have one type of wand so I made two that are a little bit different and then the girls could decide which one they liked best. Not only are they great for favors but also gifts and they can double as decor. You can put them on a tablescape, you can customize the colors for whatever your theme is. And they're very whimsical. There's no real magic involved with these wands that would be awesome, but let's get going. So gather up your materials, which include a dowel rod, tool of any color, you can choose one or two, some ribbon, again you can choose one or two colors, I chose two, some cardstock or other thick paper, some string or cording of some sort, and some mini jewels. We're going to get started by hot gluing one end of our ribbon and starting to wrap it around our dowel rod. I'm leaving some space in between because I chose to use two colors, so I just need to leave enough space for the other color. Once you get to the end, glue that and then start on your second color doing the exact same thing and when you get to the top, put a little bit of glue on it to secure it in place. Next you're going to freehand draw a circle on your piece of paper. I kind of tried to make it about six or seven inches wide, however big you make it will be the size of your tool puff at the end, so you can kind of play around with it and see what size you want it to be. Then draw a little circle in the middle, and then you're just going to cut out that middle circle so you'll have what looks like a donut. Then you're going to trace that so you have two. Next you'll cut your tool and you're going to cut two strips about five feet long a piece. Then you're going to take your two circles of paper and stack one on top of the other and then you are going to take your tool and start wrapping it around your circle. So you're going to put it on the edge and then string it through the hole in the center, back around and just continue doing that. And it's okay if you leave some spaces or if it looks like there's gaps because again, remember you cut two strips that are five feet long so you can fill in the gaps when you start wrapping your second piece around. When you get to the end of the first one, just hold that last piece in place and then grab your second piece Put it on top and start wrapping it around again and try to fill in any of the gaps that you might have. Once you finish that, you can just snip off that loose end that's sticking out and then just find a little space where you can fit your scissors in and start cutting the tool away. So you'll just go all the way around the circle and you'll see the tool sort of break apart. When you finish with that, you'll see that you can separate your circles and pull one off and then just pinch the middle of the tool and wrap your string around it and tie a double knot to make it really secure. Snip the ends of the string off and you've made your tool puff. Try to find the center of the tool puff and then just stick your wand right in. It'll be pretty secure but you can add a little glue if you want. Then just add a little glue on the end, stick on your jewel, and you're done. For this next one, you'll also need a dowel rod, two types of ribbon to wrap around the rod, a little jingle bell, a flower adornment or any other type of thing that you choose for the top, and three types of ribbon. I chose uh, different sizes and some lace just to give it a little bit of texture, but you can choose whatever you like. So we're going to start by doing the same thing we did for the first one, which is gluing the ribbon on, wrapping it around, and then gluing it at the top, and then doing the same thing for our second color. Then you're going to lay your three pieces of ribbon one on top of the other, Pull them up and create a little loop at the end and then you're just going to pull the ends through the loop and wrap it around the rod. So you're going to make a knot and pull it really tight so it's secure. Then you're going to take your little flower or whatever you chose for the top and glue it right on over the knot. Then take a jingle bell and I used a paper clip to help me get it onto the thinnest ribbon. And then you'll just pull it up and that's it.
that's it. So try it out for yourself. And as always, if you do, be sure to post your pictures on Instagram and Twitter and use the hashtag that fairy tale girl because I'm gonna be checking them out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing tons of fun videos, lots of projects, and you don't wanna miss any of them. Leave a comment below telling me what magical power you wish you had if you could have one. Mine would probably be the power to teleport myself because then I could travel all over the world and I love visiting new places but I just don't have a lot of time. So, would you like to eat 10 cakes in one sitting? I would do that. I'm gonna go do that right now anyway even though I don't have magical powers. <laughs>